Hello, my loves. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about this beautiful love right here. Yes, this bad boy is the star of the show today. It's my beautiful pink silicone pole. And let's get into it in three, two, one. Let's go. So, um, I'm going to break this video down into two parts and that's going to be the pros and cons of the poll and what I think about it. I'm gonna go through and try to make this video as fast as possible and like I mentioned before we do have a love-hate relationship that's why I broke this video down into two parts because I have a lot of good things to say about it and then also I have a lot of few I guess negative things to say if you want to consider them bad um but definitely just things to consider before you're buying a silicone pole so the first pro and why i love my baby obviously is that i can wear anything that i feel like wearing so i am not limited by regular chrome and aluminum pole restrictions <laughs> so if you guys were wondering if it was me with the pole it's definitely the pole. <laughs> so while one could possibly pull with pants on on an aluminum or a chrome pole, me, if I had these pants on and I tried to do that same move, my legs would probably would have just slipped off. Speaking of clothes, another pro is that this is ideal for winter weather. A huge plus if you live in a cold state or country. Another great pro is that you don't need grip. Um, I don't ever have to buy or use grip when I'm on this silicone um, because it's so grippy. That's obviously why I can wear clothes on and do different kind of leg hangs and stuff like that. And with that being said, uh, I'm still contemplating whether or not I would recommend or say that this pole is more beginner friendly than a chrome or aluminum pole. Even though I love her so much, um, I do find there are some tricks that are harder to do on the silicone pole in comparison to the chrome or aluminum, for example. So while climbing is easy because I have the traction for my pants and I can pretty much release the hands if I wanted to, other moves, especially ones that make contact with skin, are very painful and moving with that this is the first con i would have to say and is that even with clothes on some moves can burn the skin depending on what you what you're doing so i had a situation where i was doing a shoulder mount and i ripped the skin yeah and so you can't see it here but i'm just showing you where it happened because that's usually the contact point um, for the entry into the shoulder mount but yeah I don't know if anyone's had a similar experience to me but it was brutal to say the least it could have been also the type of material like the shirt I was wearing I know it wasn't cotton I don't know what type of material I would call it but nonetheless just beware if you guys do purchase or are interested in purchasing this type of pole I don't know if silicone tape has the same effect but yeah guys if i had some pictures um or if i can find the pictures i would definitely show you but it was pretty bad moving right along the same applies to the inner thigh and the second con piggybacks off the first and it is that you kind of have to wear clothes to pull comfortably on the silicone pole and comfortably is the key word here because you can pull without clothes on and the skin can make contact with silicone pole i do it all the time because i like to wear a lot of crop tops and shorts on the pole however it is painful and beware of burns and cuts and scrapes that you can possibly get like I mentioned before with my shoulder 
And the third con would be that you can't really do dynamic drops or any other moves that require you to slide down into them, if that makes sense. And again, that's because of all the friction and grip that is applied by the silicone. But that's the end of the video. If you found this informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.